Got one over here coming in uh, from Biz who says, Dear Orban Large, um, yeah. th the guy who found the Dark Souls RCE tried and failed to notify the, um, the devs. And that reminded yeah. me of, of a similar individual who uh, was named Delphi with Team Fortress 2. He constantly finds exploits. Yep. That's so on the nose, I can't believe it. Uh, I don't get it. The Oracle. The Oracle at Delphi? The Greek Oracle? Yes, okay. Right, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I guess. But it's it's FY, so... Eh, close enough. Close enough. Um, so, the in Team Fortress 2, they found exploits constantly and new bugs with every update. How to get mm -hmm. behind walls, how to get into the enemy spawn, etc., etc. And every time he uploads the videos to YouTube, he explains how it's done. A lot of mm -hmm. the TF2 community hated him because he claimed he was ruining the game and that he should bug report to let Valve fix it privately instead of right. showing lots of people how to grief. So mm -hmm. he took them up on this and he began reporting all of his findings in private, going completely silent on YouTube for over a year. And Valve didn't fix a single thing he reported. Of course not. It turns out the only thing that motivated them was the entire player base screaming at Valve after a huge chunk got a hold of the game breaking bugs at once and it always got them to fix it over the weekend. 100%. It's it's one of those things like I mean, well you you have much more direct experience with this, right? But I'm going to use an example that I have before you use your better example, right? I'm going to take Destiny, right? There are bugs that when I stopped playing Destiny that had been in the game its entire lifetime. And people knew about them and were annoyed by them and were like, I fucking can't believe they haven't fixed this fucking thing. Ugh. Right? However, exploits like the legendary loot cave, I don't know if you remember that, mm -hmm. would get fixed within like a day. Mm -hmm. Right? And the, the number one determining factor was always going to be can it affect other players, yes or no? How many people know about it? And how mm -hmm. many people are using it right now? If if something blows up real big, even if it's kind of harmless, it's probably going to go. Even the famous Warframe example of like, uh, what was it called? Skiing or whatever the fuck that led to bullet jumping, mm -hmm. right? The reason that became bullet jumping was because it was so common that everybody was doing it. Regardless of whether or not it was a plus or a minus, um, the yeah, there's it, it's that's it's obvious. It doesn't take too much elaboration here that the the pressure of the community being upset is what will catch everyone's attention and make a giant email thread go around to all the right people so that eventually someone on a QA team somewhere goes and 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 you know reports whatever the 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 big issue is. If it's um. There have been times when uh, I remember certain projects would ask a QA team to literally jump online, go into communities, and see what issues they're talking about, and come back and report those bugs, right? It's been a rare thing, but there's been a couple times where there's been some projects where they're like, yeah, literally go find stuff that, that the internet is talking about and, 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 and so on. And um, the, the, the pipeline for one person privately reporting one issue to mm. a generic company email not in touch with anybody and they're going to get that email probably read it weeks if not months later and then when they do it's a low priority email that goes from this the marketing team person that's reading it over to like a social team and that social team is going to be like maybe you talk to head of qa about this but it'll be low priority and like 15 like people in the way and it's never an important thing because there's always something else going why would that dude's message even reach someone on the qa team that would mm -hmm. really earnestly care about that issue finding it and reporting it why would it even reach him at that point right no it's when everything's on fire that like a a larger producer steps in someone in a with bigger decision making uh, uh power in the, the hierarchy will be, make a huge thread with all the, so the above people linked in going get to the bottom of this cc me when it's fixed you know yeah now it's a you've different energy in, entirely you were in the qa industry for a time and i'd like to ask you about a a, a scenario that i can foresee 
in which somebody in QA, or maybe multiple people in QA, file their reports, do their job, fix it all, all nice, and you know, there's a time before the game comes out, and you go, not you, the royal you, right? Someone goes, man, people are going to find this fucking bug. You probably should fix it. People are going to find ah. it and just fucking clown all over your shit. And somebody says, nah, it's fine. And well, then QA goes, nah, you should really fix it. They're going to find it. Well, here's the, here's the conversation. It's, very, it's, it's, it's actually quite straightforward. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, found a bug. It's pretty bad. Um, it's high, it, well, like always. Re it's 100% reproducible and a decent likelihood of, of people running into it. The user path. It's not a. Is, it's not like a bizarre situation. That no, is the, the user it. path is 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 plausible. It's a B. It's 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 coming in. You know, like, like yeah. pretty frequently. Okay, cool. Um, will this fail compliance? No. Nope. No. No. Will well. this slow down submission for any reason? Nope. Nah. Then why are you talking to me? WNF. You know, it's interesting because I remember there was one... Oh, God, what was it? Was it Anthem? I forget who it was. But, like... I spoke to somebody who worked QA. It was on either Anthem or Fallout 76. And like QA was like explicitly told to focus on reporting bugs that would cause memes making fun of the game. <laughs> 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 like like the the fucking the 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 order oh, from on the high. Priority came down oh, that says i yeah. don't want to see memes making fun of the game being buggy anymore oh yeah our save file gets corrupted fuck that you can make that that, that old was lady, bioware you can make that old lady behave like a horse that is a higher priority bug than your save corruption <laughs> oh that's amazing hold on uh, it is Anthem. It was Anthem. There's a quote from one of the yeah. devs of, quote, we have made the unmemeable game. Now, here's the thing, right, is um, a lot of programmers will sit there and be the first to tell you that it's like, okay, so here's the, here's the issue. You've got a database. You've got a couple thousand bugs in that database. Look at you, strong guy. It's not um, so much my strength, so much as her inability to open the pickles. Well, okay. Um, Man not strong, girl weak. Harbor. Just banging on the door with Cloud and Barrett. <laughs> we'll, we'll get Durr, it. Um, Let me um, so, so a lot of devs will be able to tell you, like, you're looking at a database. It has a couple uh, thousand issues in it, and you have to sit down and go, <laughs> look. That's Man, that's always the thing that most people don't realize, because I've never gotten to look at a database myself, but you describe it every time as there are always, always thousands of issues. Depends on the size of the game. There are games that are tiny, and it comes down to a matter of hundreds, and, um, you know, if your shit is really clean, you know, that, that regression list becomes very manageable over the course of a couple days. But... Um, when we're talking about a big release, a lot, yeah, you're looking at a database of thousands. And you have to have a conversation, which always occurs, where the, the people in charge of the various um, uh, departments are, are going to sit down and go, okay, how much fixed time do we have? And what can it be applied to? Like, something has to cut. There's things that we yeah. have to ignore. There is not enough time to fix all the issues that are reported. It's simply math. It's just, it's no, it's an impossibility. Right. Um, and at that point, you're like, well, yes, everyone doing their job properly means we're going to do the best we can with a fuck situation where you just you can't clean it up as much as you need to. Um, but at that point is where the decision to go how OK, we might need to get a little bit more time to clean things up. We might need extra polish time. Is the publisher willing to give the game what it needs 
to fix more because clearly you release as is, you take the hit, you're going to get memed, it's going to be a joke and shit's going to look stupid or you can give it more time and and that has its cost and certainly. You might the get bumped into is the next no. Yeah. Because you're gonna get, you might get bumped into the next quarter, and then that's gonna be a problem for the investors, and the whole knock-on uh, financial aspect of things is gonna create a problem. But everyone beneath that decision level is like, well, I'm giving, I'm handed a fucked situation. What are we gonna do? Take seventy-five percent of these and just mark them will not fix. You know? Yeah. So then we we come all the way around to Elden Ring and Dark Souls three and Dark Souls two and Dark Souls one and Bloodborne where the RCE exploit gets discovered and it is a fr apparently very fringe, very difficult exploit. Like only one guy found it after all this time mm -hmm. um, and he submits it and it gets no traction. And the reason why it gets no traction is because it's probably already in the fucking database mm -hmm. and it's, te and it's left over from the development of dark souls three. And it becomes, yeah, well, we don't really have to fix this because it's like, nobody's going to figure this shit out. And even if they see one person, it eventually gets to them like, ah, whatever. And the, it becomes a thing when that gentleman blows it up and it becomes a well-known thing. And suddenly that jumps to the front of the queue and it's like, well, no, it has to be fixed. Which means there's some bug or two bugs or three bugs or a little thing that could be polished a little bit better that now will not be mm -hmm. for Elden Ring's... February twenty fifth release date because, this because bumps those everything the fuck up. were C bugs or ah. whatever or Bs yeah. even, but this one jumped from that's ah, super rare no one will find it to you know a you know yeah. code exploit on people's computers. So you know the the like laughing at the will not fix database and the, and the embarrassing state that it's in is like. <laughs> Make no mistake, like nine times out of ten, the person who's marking those is like, yeah, I know. It fucking sucks that I'm not getting the time and resources to do a, to, to get this cleaner, to, to, to get the game better, uh, up to shape, you know, and, and no one's going to help that. But I still remember talking to somebody where I was playing a game that I know they had tested and, I, and, I, and like I played it for ten minutes and was like, Why'd you leave this shit in there? And like, I thought they were going to stab me. Mm -hmm. Like, why? Why'd you fuck up and leave? I found this in like a second. And they were just so mad. <sighs> it's just <sighs> that this because, this unnamed person I'm describing. Yes. Well, because <laughs> <laughs> because the one out of the ten is that individual who's going to sit there. And like make snarky comments in the bug, uh, uh, um, fucking regression chain, yeah. and then later on on their smoke break, they're gonna be yelling about the fact that your stupid testers are breaking my game. Your stupid testers oh, are making the man. game worse. They're ruining it. You know, and it's like, yeah, it's yeah their okay, job. it's time for you to go home. <laughs> You've completely lost perspective of what this job is. It's time for you to go home. You're having a nervous breakdown. You know? They're ruining it. It's like, they're, yeah. They're, they're, they're taking your code and they're injecting malicious code themselves into it, recompiling the build, and then reporting those bugs. How dare they? It's rough they? because under pressure, I can understand that that relationship is like kind of like inherently antagonistic. Mm -hmm. like you paint a pretty picture and somebody yeah. walks by and goes, yeah, you her missed the spot, bitch. Yeah, and it's like, but it's beautiful. But her eyes wonky. That's what that day one was when <laughs> was was the literally James Small giving me the fucking uh, the 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 introduction, you know, to the whole thing. And it's like, yeah, it's the Mona Lisa, but her eyes wonky, and you, no one wants to be told that their masterpiece has a wonky eye. But it's your job to point it out, regardless. You know, <laughs> like that's exactly what it is. You know, um, and ev and then here's the thing. Sometimes the person who, on the other end of that is going to get, let's say, a, a bad tester comes in and files a bug and reports a bug. And then they go, hold on a minute. Wait a second. Did you load in a save file from the last build into the new build? No. Did you Maybe. not wipe your kit completely so that you're loading up old data with new incompatible data? Did you fucking create 
an emergency that's not a real one and everyone panicked and it turns out you just didn't do your fucking job properly you test her and it's like yeah sometimes that happens and that's a nightmare because you fucked up dude you See, did know, not clear your kit this is an I invalid bug that you know this story and i don't know if you're the one who told it to me secondhand or if it was a mutual acquaintance but hey if you kill this boss in under 30 seconds the game crashes 100 percent reproduction rate right so other testers go down and start trying to reproduce it but cannot get to kill the boss in under like 90 seconds at all and so they eventually go to the original tester and go how the fuck did you manage to do this bug no one else can reproduce it and he goes look i'll show you and he's got all the fucking debugs on yeah he's got yeah, infinite yeah, he's yeah, got yeah, fucking yeah, infinite yeah, health yeah, yeah, super yeah. damage and shit mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. like look look it fucking crashes when you kill this boss in under 30 seconds yeah and just like that's not fuck. a real and that's not a real environment the player like the fuck off like yes absolutely <laughs> um yeah that happens stop that and like you hit the alarm and everyone's running in a panic because oh my god and then you fucking trace it back to someone fucked up their their new their their new build you know yeah. someone didn't do their job properly or worse ugh, worse is um you regressed the bug on the wrong build like you you grabbed uh. literally the one where it wasn't fixed and it already is and then now it, it just you know like all the like like there are times when it fucks up on the other uh. end and it's embarrassing and brutal um and then the when dev loses their mind on on that tester it's like yeah you know everyone kind of like suited up and like it's 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 like the firefighters get to the house and there's no fire. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. everyone fucking wasted their time. And there's huge problems that needed their attention otherwise. No, sorry, it was my casserole. It was a little smoky. So, um, that's horrifying. And I don't envy anyone that that has happened to. Uh, couldn't be me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. No, what? You, what? Huh? Couldn't be me. Never I was happened. damn good at my job. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we'll leave it there, folks. You know, well, I gotta say, all the t all the all the the stories you tell about your time in QA, when you got to run compliance, it sounds like you had the most satisfying job in QA because you were one of the only people who couldn't be just hand waved and ignored because you could tell people, no, this will fucking fail compliance. The game's not gonna ship, dude. Dude, like. Oh just because usually you go have a conversation and they go how important is this really and you're like it's pretty bad and they're like yeah but is it really important and they'll be like i i mean i think so and they'll be like get the fuck out of my office and that's that right yeah and then you get this version of the job and then they, and they're like get the fuck out of my office and you're like hold on a minute 5.2.1 over here states explicitly that this message will mean your game doesn't ship. So I can get the fuck out of your office, but this game will not ship if you don't listen to what I have to say. So I don't give a fuck how you treat me. I'm saving your project, <laughs> you know? It is very, very clear. And it also is, is fun because when you have the number, point, number, point, number, that you <laughs> yeah. can rattle off the top of your head to be like, shut the fuck up. Everything you say is not more important than this, which is what literally Sony had to say about this, or Microsoft, or Nintendo. Yeah, and no, it's like no, they're, none they're of your with you, but they should none be of your with Nintendo. I'm bringing you the fucking word of God right now. You can't take it up with me. I don't care how you feel about me. This your product, your product project isn't gonna ship if you don't fucking you know. So all that ego that they have and everything of that, it gets fucking humbled by compliance it's very satisfying absolutely you know and and with that energy you don't have to swing it around you don't have to get into any screaming matches you don't have to get into any like 
Because sometimes the, the tester who gets, like, booted out will then have to, like, go get a couple of other people to be like, Guys, can you find any other issues that are related to this bug that make it worse so that we can show them oh, so a it's larger... Oh, like cascade problem. Exactly. And then a bunch of good functionality testers will be like, Oh, yeah, no, we found a huge problem that comes from this one. So if you don't, if you ignore this, we have more issues spreading out from them. And then they go, ah, you motherfucker. And they'll hate you, mm. but you have that antagonistic relationship. And here it's just like, bruh, copy paste Nintendo's lot check. Read this shit, get the fuck back to me. You know, like, let, it's it's great. Let me ask let me ask you a question. Have you ever told somebody that it was going to fail compliance and they were like, nah, and then it failed compliance? Oh, absolutely. Oh, fucking. Sick. Oh, absolutely. Hell yeah. And, and there's nothing better because, like, you have the thread where uh, it's the same email chain where they go, um, I hear what you're saying, but I say we push it through anyway. Um, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, and I, and, and the last thing in the email thread is me going, I don't sign off on this. Yeah. Point for, I, I don't sign off on this. And then they go, okay, well, we're doing it anyway. And then the fucking check comes back and... <laughs> It gets real quiet, you know? But there's, what else you got to say? There's nothing else to say at that point. It's like you get the email. You see a couple of, like, you can you can read it because it's a big fucking, uh, 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 like, a PDF kind of thing. And you, you scroll, scroll, scroll. You find the issue. You see it noted. And then you get to look over your computer at the other person who's at their desk reading through it and just wait for the shoulders to slump. <laughs> from behind i'm just and you just i read it through quickly and you just lean over and you look and you just see the shoulders go oh, oh no and it's like yeah well <sighs> guess who didn't sign off on it you know you know this this reminds me of uh this corporate lawyer guy i follow on tiktok who fucking hates his job he hates being a corporate lawyer so he will reenact these types of situations mm -hmm. you know with his own thing in a skit and the one that just stabbed me in the heart, despite being totally divorced from this kind of life, is one of his clients being like, well, you know, the company's in trouble, but uh, we can all just agree that it's because we had bad legal representation. And like, dude is in the room mm -hmm. as the lawyer <laughs> and goes, I told you not to do it. Mm -hmm. To which the response is, uh, placing blame isn't going to help fix the problem, so there's no point in doing that now. <laughs> and just like... Yeah, like... Like, you motherfuckers. Fuck those people, fuck those people to the <laughs> end, dude. Um, the, here's the... Here's the, here's the the what's delicious too and what's the, the, it's the best part of the whole thing because all of this is like oh yeah like rub your face in it right bullshit but yeah. what actually matters is after the shoulder slump <laughs> right um what you see then is that person who's above you in the qa chain is now going to be bypassed by the producer and tester who are just going to be straight up coming to your desk to be like, hey, man, yeah. we got an issue. Can you, can we, because done and done, right? We've seen yeah. what happens. Like, this we guy see the results. ignored this problem and now. So they cut two them weeks out of, they cut them out of the equation entirely. And two or three of them will be like, hey, come over. We got an issue. And then you're now doing more helpful work direct to the people that you can speak to without that bullshit filter in the way. Yeah, that's you, just you don't trying need to get the. To, you don't need to rub it in their face when they nope. get to watch their boss walk past them and ignore them. And actively talk to ignore you. them. Exactly. And in the end, that helps the project. You know, it, it's it's happened multiple times, and then like, it, then you got to do the thing where it's like, oh hey, um, gotta block my kit. I'll be back. I have a meeting with the producers over here, on this issue that's going down apparently they just want me on it you can stay tight you know oh. like it's it, it happens dude and it's oh. the, it's 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 the result of when your fucking hubris gets in the way of like you know literally threatening the game's release 
It's like, are you sure you want to put that all on yourself? It fucking, it's gonna, it's not gonna go away. Nah, know? it's so. fine. Nintendo will let it slip. They're chill about compliance, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they fucking hide it, dude. They'll find things, not oh, report God. them. They'll find ten things, they'll report five, and then they'll see if you fix the other five in the next <laughs> submission just to make sure you're... you're you know, just to make sure you're on your toes. You know, and if you didn't, then they're like, ah, well, you know, here's another five. I mean, eh, guys, I don't know. Like, horrible. And also, America and Europe won't talk to each other. And uh, they'll have their different standards. It's kind of amazing. Anyways, those were the good old days. Um, but now, <sighs> I get to sit on Twitch and get um, yelled at for uh, garbage takes and gameplay. So, wouldn't change a thing for the world you're doing god's work buddy i really am